Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Bioskill Circle and today I'll discuss MTP Act in detail. Full form of MTP is medical termination of pregnancy and it is often called MTP. It is a step towards safety and well-being of the women. So what is MTP? MTP is voluntary or intentional abortion induced and performed to end pregnancy before the completion of full term. So this act provides women access to safe abortion and MTP signifies voluntary or willful termination of pregnancy. It is also called induced abortion. Government of India legalized MTP in 1971, but with certain riders so that people don't misuse it. But the aim was to provide women access to safe abortion. It was implemented nationwide from April 1972, and about 45 to 50 million MTPs are done in a year all over the world. And it is one-fifth of the total number of pregnancies in a year. It plays a very important role in the containment of population, though it is not performed for this purpose. MTPs are considered quite safe during the first trimester since it has fewer complications. However, MTPs of second trimester are much more riskier. Now we will talk about methods used to perform MTP. So MTP is performed by using these methods. First is pharmacological method. In this method, medicines are used. Combination of mesoprostol, that is a prostaglandin, along with mifepristone, that is antiprogesterone, is used. And as we know that progesterone is a pregnancy hormone, this hormone thickens the endometrial lining and maintains the pregnancy. So these pills contain the drugs which blocks the production and effect of progesterone and results in medical abortion. Second method is surgical method, dilation and curettage, and manual vac vacuum aspiration is used. Electric vacuum aspiration needs less time to perform than dilation curettage. Manual vacuum aspiration is associated with less pain than electric vacuum aspiration. Next question, when pregnancy can be terminated? So induced abortions are legally allowed if mother is a rape survivor and pregnancy is caused by a rape. Health of the mother as well as fetus is equally important to us. So if continuation of pregnancy could pose threat to the life of either mother or fetus or both, then also MTP needs to be terminated. And then also MTP needs to be performed. So if there is any potential physical or mental risk to the mother due to continuation of pregnancy, MTP needs to be performed. If there is possible danger to fetus as there is substantial risk that, risk that the child is born uh, would be seriously handicapped, then also MTP needs to be performed. Next point is accidental pregnancy. These are the pregnancies that are caused by casual intercourse or failure of contraceptives. So these are unwanted pregnancies and MTP needs to be performed in this case also. Who can perform MTP? Now MTP can be performed by a registered medical practitioner who has recognized medical qualification as defined in clause B of section two of Indian Medical Council Act 1956. Only a registered medical practitioner can prescribe drugs 
and one needs to ensure that doctor's name is registered in the state medical register and the doctor has training experience as per the MTP rules and the doctor has to follow MTP Act, its rules and regulations. So MTP requires certification of doctors. Now the next question, where can a pregnancy be terminated? Operation must take place in a hospital established or maintained by the government or a place approved by the government or DLC constituted by the government. So MTP should be performed in a place recognized by government authorities. So whose consent is required to perform MTP? It is important to note that consent of pregnant women is the essential factor for termination of a pregnancy. The husband's consent, consent is irrelevant. Therefore, if the woman wants an abortion but her husband objects to it, the abortion can still be done. However, if the woman doesn't want an abortion but her husband wants, it cannot be done. But in the case of a woman whose age is less than 18 years, consent of guardian is required. The consent of the guardian is also required in the case of minor or lunatics. If the girl is minor or unmarried, then also consent of guardian is required. Okay, so now significance of MTP. It helps in getting rid of unwanted pregnancies which may be harmful or even fatal either to mother or to fetus or both. It also plays important role in controlling population and MTP also prevents unnatural maternal deaths. What are the drawbacks of MTP? MTP is being misused to abort even the normal female fetuses and MTP is sometimes performed illegally by those people who pretend to have medical knowledge but they don't have any formal training. So these are unqualified people and this could even risk the life of the mother and this is something serious. So yes, it needs to be checked. MTP also has raised many religious, emotional, social and ethical issues. I hope this information was useful for you. If there are any questions, you can write in comment section. Thank you for connecting with BioSkill Circle.